here's the aftermath, guys. So my coconut palm made it attached to the tea post. Um, shampoo, ginger. It's, it's all right. This will grow back. All my papayas. My cranberry hibiscus. Um, looking rough. Uh, all the papayas on the floor. Um, heartbroken, y'all. Yeah. So very few words. My peanut butter fruit tree made it. If you guys notice my moringas, I cut all of everything down. I showed you guys how I got them ready. And look, they're probably one of the only things that are really good tact. Um, even the papayas, they'll grow back. Uh, the sugar loaf pineapple. It's crazy. My sugar cane flatline, but I'll, I'll harvest that. My fence got beaten up. That door, that gate kept going back and forth. I picked those plants up already earlier. My monstera is doing good. These palm trees are beasts, man. They made it. And to be honest, compared to some people's roofs, I mean, I saw shingles flying off my roof, but not so bad. This was the piece of native trees and stuff that was blocking me for a long time it almost served like a windbreak but it was when the wind somehow shifted and then you saw all the trees go like this and start blowing that way that's when we caught most of the damage and then by removing those banana leaves this red banana tree is intact